Hello and welcome to Dice Demons, I'm Emma and in this video I want to talk a little bit about uh, hobby motivation and painting and why we do it. And uh, the reason I want to talk about this is because I have recently been getting quite a number of comments on my stuff where people, I mean, and it, I know it's meant like, it, it's meant as praise, right? But I, people say something like, oh, wow, now I've seen what you have painted and I am ready to fr throw my stuff in the garbage bin or whatever. And um, it, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm autistic, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I don't really quite know how to respond because I know that it's meant as praise, but also I have... I am not quite sure if sometimes people actually mean it. Like, they see someone else's stuff and think, oh, this is so good, I can't paint like that. I'm not saying that that is always the case with me because I'm I'm, I'm by no means a perfect painter or anything. Um, but I think it's such a shame if we start comparing ourselves so much to what other people do that we just can't really enjoy our own hobby experience anymore. Um, I don't think that's uh, what... Most people hope that others will take away from their stuff when they post stuff online to, to show, I mean, I painted this model, what I what do you think? Um, I certainly don't want to post something that makes people feel bad about uh, whatever they are painting and their level of skill. Um, I can also see other people's work and be like, oh wow, I'm completely blown away. I could never ever do anything that was just, you know, 2% as as well executed as as that was um but then i i try not to get discouraged by it but instead of thinking oh well um i mean i can just if i can just enjoy what they're doing and not feeling like it's a competition i mean the only instance where painting is a competition is when you actually join you know participate in a painting competition of course then your work is going to be judged compared to other people's work uh, that's sort of the whole premise um but other than that, I mean, painting should be fun, it should be relaxing, it should be a way for you to explore your creativity or try out new colors or just, um, you know, wind down after a stress stressing day. You can sit down and you can listen to a, an audio book or something and you can paint and, and just, you know, have fun and enjoy yourself. It shouldn't be something where you feel like, oh, I have to achieve this level uh, before it's good enough because we'll never ever get good enough. I don't ever look at any of my models and, models and think ah, there's just no way to improve upon this. It's pure perfection. I, I don't ever think that. I always have something where I think ah that could have been better or I'm not quite sure those colors actually worked that well together as I had imagined they would or all sorts of things. Uh, and that's all of course also a part of the creative process that you're not you don't just stop where you are. Um, and go, oh, everything is completely, utterly perfect. Um, on the other hand, if you do feel that, that way about your painting and you are happy with where you are and what you're achieving and um, sort of the level of speed at which you're achieving it and, and, and stuff, well, that's completely fine as well. Um, I really think it's a shame when people get discouraged because they can't do it as well as someone else. Um, because when you just see people posting stuff online, you don't see what went into that piece of, of art uh, that they have just shown off. Perhaps they spent hundreds of hours doing it. Perhaps they have been to art school. Perhaps they have, uh, perhaps they are, you know, have spent five hours a day painting for the past 15 years. Of course, if you're new in the hobby or if you have like two hours a week or a, a month to paint, well, I mean, you don't have that level of, I mean, you just, you aren't, just haven't got that much experience, even though perhaps you've been painting for, uh, 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 you know, a number of years. So I think it's really important that we try not to compare our stuff to other people and also really try to stay focused on why we're painting. Are you painting because you really want to learn a particular technique? Uh, well, then the motivation can be to get better at better at that technique. Um, I don't think you will find many people who actually think, oh, I have completely mastered a certain technique. Um, but hopefully you will improve and, and find that you get more and more satisfied with your work and you can look back on a model you perhaps painted a year ago and think, oh, I actually did get better at this technique. 
or you want to paint because you want to have a painted army to play on the tabletop, I mean, that's fine. And then, then you shouldn't measure your success in, oh, can this compare to high-level painters who paint a single model for two months for a high-end painting competition? You should feel the accomplishment of getting a painted model, you know, a painted army on the tabletop. Um, I have had people say to me, oh, I'm not sure I would ever, you know, want to play against one of your armies because it, you, um, perhaps it wouldn't look as, as cool as your armies or whatever. Uh, and first off, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think we should compare armies like that. You know, um, uh, when I pay, play with someone, I'm, I definitely do not go to that game with the intention of, of standing there feeling... <laughs> My army looks better painted than yours, or I, or even with the uh, sort of fear of, oh, what if I put my army on the table and it doesn't look as good as as their army does? Um, I'm 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 willing to play with anybody whether their army is painted or not, but I have to admit that I do enjoy it a little bit more if every single model on the tabletop is painted. It just helps with immersion for me at least. I think. Um, so I enjoyed a little bit more and I have never ever seen a painted army on the tabletop that I didn't think looked good on a tabletop. These are, after all, for most people, plastic toy soldiers that we use uh, to play a game with. And if they have, you know, three colors and a base, I think that's awesome and amazing. So just a little something because people write that to me often, you know, oh, I just, I don't want to paint when I've seen your stuff or when I've seen other people's stuff. And I think, really think it's a shame because it sort of implies that we are competing or that we should all strive for uh, sort of exactly the same thing. Um, but I mean, my style of painting is very different from the style of painting that is more realistic or more grimdark. And that doesn't mean that I'm doing it wrong or that they are doing it wrong. It just means we're doing things differently. And I, I don't compare myself to the work of somebody else like that because I, I probably couldn't paint a, a model in that style as well as they can, or I, I certainly cannot because I haven't practiced it much at all. Uh, and perhaps I would never even be able to do so. I don't know because I, it's not something I have really have that much interest in doing. It's just, I think, Try to keep focused on why you are painting, why you are enjoying it, what what the motivation is to you, and that it's I mean it's not a competition, it's something it, it's a hobby, it's something we do to have fun and enjoy ourselves. So that was just uh, a little something I wanted to talk about with hobby motivation and uh, trying not to compare yourself to others and trying not to um, always feel like you have to have a goal, something you have to reach for. If you don't want to do that, if you just want to paint to relax, I think that is just as valid. Um, so uh, I also want to take this chance here in this video to do a channel giveaway. I, I, we recently hit 5,000 subscribers, which is really cool. And I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of blown away by the fact that so many people want to, uh, you know, follow the stuff I do here with all my crazy colors and stuff. And uh, I got a comment on, I can't remember if it was Twitter or Instagram from someone saying, well, could you apply the same painting techniques that you use on your models to a canvas or a piece of paper? And I thought, well, that is an excellent question. Um, I mean, sure, I, 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 you should be able to do that, right? So I, I did a painting using, uh, I mean, I can show it here. The colors are a little bit more saturated in real life. This has turned out to be really, really difficult to... Um, to, to, to get a good photo of. It's painted with the same, um, the same uh, uh, acrylic colors I usually use when I do my, uh, uh, when, I, when I paint my models. And so it will of course also glow under UV light just as my models do. Um, just, I don't, I don't know, it's just silly, but fun. Um, so I wanted to do a, a giveaway of that, uh, of that uh, painting if someone is uh, interested in that. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, I would love for you to uh, subscribe to the channel and write a comment. And in that comment, I would love uh, to know why you are painting and uh, what keeps you motivated in your hobby journey as well. That would be really awesome. Then in a week from today, I will uh, do some sort of, uh, you know, random number generator thing. And I will uh, 
uh, pick a winner and I'll contact the uh, I'll contact that person and get this sent to you. Um, oh yeah, and uh, I don't know if you can tell it's uh, it's supposed to be a phoenix. Uh, I just uh, I quite I quite like uh, Greek mythology and Roman mythology, and so I thought a phoenix was just uh, it was just it. I, there's just something about a phoenix that I really enjoy. You know, uh, the whole idea of when it it dies, it burns to ashes, but then from the ashes it is reborn. Um, I I kind of like that. Um, it's something that uh, that helps me stay a little bit motivated, or uh, I don't know when I'm going through stuff like mental health issues. The thought that I mean, even if I get really, really hurt and I feel like I'm completely broken into pieces, perhaps there is a chance that at one, some point I can, uh, you know, come back again. Perhaps I don't like the term, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I don't think that's true. I think sometimes things hurt you and you will forever hurt um, and, and it won't necessarily make you stronger. It is just something you have to deal with and live with. Um, but I like the idea anyway of the phoenix being completely broken and then still being able to somehow reform itself. So that's that's my idea behind the phoenix anyway. So yeah, I, I hope uh, I hope you want to uh, participate in the channel giveaway and I look forward to hearing from you. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!